Hello everyone, my name is Irina and today we are going to speak about water as part of the topic that has been decided for the month of August and at the end of the month as you know we always have a festival where we are supposed to meet and speak about all what we have learned and taught but also about the topic and the theme. Water is a short word but water is life in the same time. Without water, there is no life. And today we are going to speak about aspects of water. So, um, what is it, water? Ali? Are you yes, I'm here. Yeah. Go ahead and read the, into the, the uh, definition. Okay. What is water? Water is made of tiny molecules of hydrogen and oxygen. Each one is so small that you can't see it even with the most powerful microscope. Pure water has no color, no taste, and doesn't smell of anything. Water exists in three forms on the earth. Solid, ice, hail, snow, or frost, liquid, in lakes, oceans, rain, dew, fog, and mist, gas, steam, or water vapor invisible water in the air. Thank you. So I know that there is some vocabulary for liquid. If there is any word that you don't understand, you can note it down at the end of the presentation with pictures and images, we will explain the words. Okay. Where can we get water? So what are the places where we can find water? We need to know that 97% of water that is on earth surface is in oceans and only three percent is the uh, on in other places other places include lakes rivers polar ice caps clouds rain stored in rocks there there's there's some water stores stored in clouds and in the sea ice when the sea or the water of the sea is is uh, ice any and that's, that's a lot of water in yeah. all of those places. And to, to me, the statistic that that's only 3% of the world's water is like, wow. That's it. Because the oceans, what we, we the oceans, uh, the water that is in the ocean is the biggest quantity. There, is, um, there should be in one of the slides a comparison. So he, why do we need water? Rosemary, could you read? Or do you, why, do we need why do we need water? To carry nutrients and waste in the body, to lubricate joints, digestive tract, and body tissues, to cool the body, especially during periods of physical activity, and to be used in factories, agriculture, hospitals, hotels, etc. Yes, mainly. And now, most or most common reasons for increased demand. Um, Ali, could you read, please? Okay. Most common reasons for increased demand. Increase in world's population as more people live cities and big towns. Increase in farming because farmers start growing more crops. Increase in money and because People use a lot more a lot more water in their homes for things like dishwashers and lawn sprinklers. Yes, and we will see after this slide. I hope. Okay, uh, there is an ex <laughs> that is called water shortage. I wanted also to explain what is it. This expression. Um, I would also to reflect on. Um, Laurel's last lesson, Laurel is not here, but if you want to learn vocabulary related to water, there is a lesson that our uh, pronunciation and vocabulary teacher, Laurel Archer, she did one session during August where she spoke about vocabulary related to water. So you can go on the website, livingpeacenow.org under her forum and you can watch the replay and uh, learn the vocabulary. This is only one phrase, water shortage. So what is water shortage, Ellie? Do you have an idea? Can you read it? 
Okay, water shortage. Water shortage happens when an area does not have enough water to meet the needs of the people who live there. A shortage is caused by too much demand or not enough supply. Yes, so when you have too much demand uh, or not enough supply of water, you are in the water shortage. So there is not enough water to the needs yeah. of the population. Saving water, where can we save water? In which areas or places? So we can save water through education. We can raise awareness. How? So we can read articles, debate water-related issues in our local area or in our re reading speaking clubs, in our school, in our small communities. We can investigate the role that water plays in various cultures. So we can compare different countries, different, uh, different continents or countries or cultures. We can also try to understand the amount of water used in the school and home. We can do a small questionnaire or research and we can have results. And we can study water cycle. This is also a topic we can speak about separately, water cycle. Okay. These are ways how to uh, save water through education. The second one is saving water in homes. Uh, Rosemary, could you read this one? Please. Running water is required for an endless list of uses in and around the home. Imagine living in a house without running water. For some, this might be a nightmare, but for many, it is reality. This is because some of us are not careful while using water in our homes, so others suffer because of us. Yeah. Actually, I, we had a house. It was a second residence, but it didn't, when we bought it, it had no running water. People had carried water from a spring in a field, uh, you know, not too far away. But uh, so I know that you use a lot less water when you have to carry it all to the house rather than have it come flowing um, from a, a tap of some kind. Yeah, yeah, true. And uh, recently, a month ago, I think there was a country that w they, um, there was a campaign for a country that where there wasn't water and people were dying because they couldn't drink. They didn't have running water in homes and they mm -hmm. couldn't drink uh, clean water. So when what I wanted to speak uh, about in this slide is also the ways or the solutions at home that we can save water. I can give one example, and I think that all of us can give one example and let people think about it. I have always seen people while brushing their teeth in the, in the bathroom. Leaving the water on, I know. And not under the pressure. So it's big quantity of water running and it takes two minutes, three minutes uh, brushing their teeth and they don't have the consciousness of closing the tap. tap. So one of, the, one of the, uh, the tips or ways is when you are brushing your teeth, please just okay, wet your toothbrush and close the tap water. And then when you finish brushing, you can also open again and then clean your mouth. What can we think about also, Ali, uh, Abu? What, what can we do at home to save you? Uh, we can find something or in which we can uh, make the water. In Senegal, for example, uh, we spend days without water and you have to wake early to, uh, to have this water. So what we do in here is for example, to keep the water in a place. Uh, I don't know how to call it in uh, English. How the word sit there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Say tank. in a water. tank. Yeah. Yes. We, we keep the water in a keep. So if we haven't water in days, we will use that water that we have saved. This is a solution that we use in 
in my home in in the city interesting yeah yeah there is a word in english cistern which usually is specific for a large underground water uh tank that's used that's outside the house and often it's used to collect rainwater which can then be used yeah yeah so that this was also like in senegal what they 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 do but what but also like at home also when uh yeah so we need to make sure that we close either when we are washing dishes or brushing teeth or washing our our face we can do little gestures to save uh amounts of water yeah you cited um dishwashers yeah. uh as water wasters um in fact it uses less water to put all the dishes in the dishwasher until the dishwasher is full uh because, actually, and then run the dishwasher because modern dishwashers are very economical with water yeah that's true yeah dishwashers are not waster of water it's people who wash dishes manually and they keep they don't put in uh, like if, if a person doesn't have a dishwasher there should be a plastic container where they will put water yes. right water. some people unfortunately they keep the tap water running and they are washing the dishes so when they they wash manually that is when it is yeah, waste exactly and yeah. then there are things like this that we can do habitually it's interesting because as we're discussing these things i'm realizing okay these are things that i've learned to do over the last few years and they're just you know part of our habits now yes true mm -hmm. so uh, the second area where we can save water is in gardens um, yes yeah, so i think also that we have a farm not far away from our home and they see that the, okay they want to grow they grow plants and they want to water plants but there are methods there are effective methods economic water economical water methods how to water plants and there is the 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 wasting method so one of the um, economical methods is i don't know how to say this in english but it's like a, a running or a, a round a uh, jet of water so they throw water in small it's i well we do that in an irrigation system an irrigation mhm mm you know where where there's pipes yes under, under the ground and when you turn the system on it's timed so that uh, it only runs for a certain amount of time and the water comes out of little pipes and just yeah. waters the plant so there's the, no waste water exactly and they have seen also drop uh watering watering by drop so only some drop by drop to the to the plant so yes yeah, so who would like to go through the reading of this maybe oh do you have um we, we have, have a have... i don't know i don't see the name can you oh, see the that's me that's me oh. Yeah. Tasmia, yes. Hi, Tasmia. We didn't see you. Come on. Yes, ma'am. I had uh, finals. Uh, still, now oh. I have some uh, exam uh, pending, so I am uh, preparing for this. Meanwhile, I thought that why I am uh, doing it, why I am absent in your class, I should do your class. So okay. I join. Thank you. Would you so, be willing to read? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Saving water in gardens. There are lots of easy and effective ways to reduce the use of precious drinking water on our gardens. Many gardens contain plants inappropriate for our environment, and we tend to water far more than necessary because we don't know what our plants really need. We can't uh, afford gardens that require excessive amounts of water. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Tasnia. Yeah, this is saying that some plants, yes, you know that some plants need less water than others, and others need more water than some. So we need to provide water according to the need so that we don't fall in the water shortage we have seen 
earlier. Right. So in California, when I lived there, we planted um, a desert garden. There were rocks and sand and plants that didn't need a lot of water. We had succulents, we had cactus, we had you know plants that were native to desert climates, desert environments, because Northern California, where we were, is kind of a desert uh, climate, desert environment. And so, you know, we didn't need to water, or at least yeah. not very much. Yes, that's it. As Rosamie explained, the cactus is one of the plants that doesn't need that much water. So we need to provide according to the need, save water. Thank you, Rosemary, for the explanation. So and it was a really nice garden. <laughs> yeah. So tips to save water. This is exactly what maybe we need to understand well so that we can uh, be the model for others, for ourselves and for others also. Um, Abu, would you like to read the first four tips? Yes. yes. Tips to save water. Dripping tap cool was as much as 90 liters a week. That Brushing there. your teeth with the tap running was these wastes. Wastes. Yes. Sorry. Uh, to running waste is yes. almost nine liters uh, nine liters a minute. Winds out from a timber instead. Cool water keep in the fridge means you won't have to run the tap for ages to get a cold drink. Don't use your hosting machine until you've got a full load. A full load uses less water than two half two half load. Loads, yeah. Yeah, so the first and the second one, we spoke about it. When you are using water at home, don't keep the tap uh, dripping. And if you are brushing your teeth, make sure you close the water until you finish brushing, brushing sorry, and then you can clean your mouth. The third one, do you want to say, explain or say something, Rosemary, about the third and the, the fourth one? Sure. Um, it's true that... Uh, if you want to get cold water from the tap, uh, unless you live in a very cold climate and it's winter, you have to run the water for a long time to get it to cool off. So uh, actually, we use ice cubes. <laughs> so yeah. a couple of cubes of ice in a glass of water cools it right yeah. down. Yeah, true. We use this also. Yeah, and you know, um, it's so funny because now they are doing them in the shape in a shape that you love having them hearts. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like really, really like you want to get them and to do it. It's really interesting. I am buying all colors. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, really interesting. Oh. interesting. And and it's true, and it's true for the dishwasher too, that you just. You know, there, there's a fine line. It's interesting. If you don't have, if you use a machine to wash things, you have to have enough dishes, enough silverware, enough glasses to fill up the dishwasher and still have a couple left over. Because otherwise you have to run it, run the machine before it's full. And the same thing is true with laundry. If you run out of socks or, you know, whatever, uh, before it's, you've got a full load for the washing machine, you have to do the wash. <laughs> so, so it's an interesting interplay between supply and demand. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So make sure that your dishwasher is full in load before running it. It will make, uh, it will, it, it, um, save water while washing. The second, yeah, the second one, the second slide about tips to save water is the following. Who would like to go through the reading of the tips? Okay, tips to save water. Okay, go ahead, Ali. 
Every time you boil an egg, save the cold water for your houseplants. They will benefit from the nutrients released from the shell. Sprinklers can be wasteful. A sprinkler can use as much water in an hour as a family of four will use in a day. Trigger nozzles can save water by using it only when needed. Okay, so a trigger nozzle, does that make sense to you guys? What, what is trigger nozzles, please? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, if you use a rubber hose to transport water from the tap to where you want to use the water, the, you usually put the screw on to the end of the hose, uh, a nozzle that you can, you know, turn on and off by pulling a trigger uh, so that you don't you know, you don't waste water walking all over the place with the water running. Okay. Oh, look, I can. Yeah, you I can probably find a picture. Pictures, yes, because uh, people, you know, they, but I need to stop. That's the thing in this Zoom. If you want to sh show something, you need to stop sharing. That's okay. I'm just going to. Uh, find it on Google search. And, and at least here, if you live in a house that has ground, has any amount of ground, a hose is one of the things you need. You know, which is probably, it's. I know it's not true if you live in an apartment building. You never need a hose. <laughs> Okay, so go get back to you to share my screen with you. This is sprinkler. If you have the pictures, this is sprinklers. Right. But still, I wonder how... I don't think anybody uses these anymore. Hmm. I've, you don't see them because everybody has learned to save water. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what was the other word you wanted to know, uh, Ali? A, a, nozzle. a nozzle. Yeah, nozzle. Trigger nozzle. And I don't know what that word is in French. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. One of those. Yeah. This is, and, do we use okay. this in the bathroom? We use similar thing in the bathroom. That's true, actually. It's a little bit like a hand shower. Yeah, it's a bit, a little bit like a hand shower. So is this wasting a um, water waster? No, it's a water saver. Yeah, all right. Because when, when you're not holding it, it's turned off. And uh -huh. when you press, when you pull that trigger, it opens the, uh, the aperture so the water comes out. So you only use the water when, you've, when you're holding it and pointing it where you went where you need it. Okay. okay. Do you see the um, slides now or I have to stop and go? Yes, we see the slides. Okay. I think that the slides, uh, we come to the end of the slides. If you have any question about what we have been presenting and saying, uh, you can ask. Uh, if not, I would like to finish with your understanding of the, the with water as a vital thing to life and uh, ways or tips how we can save it. If everyone can say one tip, it will be good. Okay. I would like to start. One of the things that, that we do a lot now is that we put water in a bottle and carry the bottle around with us so that, you know, if we need a drink, we have the water with us. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that saves water. Yeah. 
Yes, sure. Like uh, I see kids putting it in their backpack or when people, yeah. I think that one of the, um, the good things is you when you go to shop, you can buy small bottle of waters. So you will buy that one instead of buying before there were only big bottles of the, the problem, of course, with buying bottled water is that we're adding to the plastic yeah. uh, pollution. That's a real problem in the ocean. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing how complex this whole thing has become. Mm -hmm. You know, we do, we do one thing to save, and then we have to <laughs> look at the consequences of that. <laughs> yeah. That's why we need also to see into the other thing. One of the things I want to share with you after this presentation is just, I want to say, and it concerns me also because uh, if I don't pay attention, I'll be also in the same situation. We need on, an ev on a daily basis when we get up, have this automatism of um, like, it's, it come to mind. No, like I shouldn't do this. I should close the tap water. I should uh, stop water while brushing my teeth. I know that it's difficult when we have been in another philosophy, but we have to like uh, force ourselves and we will learn in the process. And after a couple of days, I'm sure, and weeks, we will like, oh, we will say, oh, is I doing this? Like, really? Uh, they keep in the water. It will be like an automatic uh, gesture and behavior. Yeah, and it becomes really automatic. Yes. Over time. That's what I'm realizing as we're having this conversation is that, uh, thank you, Abu, that, um, you know, there are so many ways we can save, but they become habits. Abu says, turn off the water while you're washing your hair. It's true. Yes. Yes. And having a, a shower with a trigger yes. nozzle on it. It's better because we have makes it a, makes it a lot easier to do that. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, if you have nothing to add, Rosemary, should we uh, uh, close with a meditation about water? We reflect and meditate. That would be. I'd be happy to do that. Yes. Okay, so I invite you to. Sit comfortably wherever you are. Put, put things off your lap or out of your hands. And feet on the ground. Being supported, being stable. And to start paying attention to your breathing, how it feels to breathe. Air is a lot like water. It's necessary for life. It flows and we need it to stay alive. So feel the air coming in to your nostrils, expanding your abdomen. Breathe out and feel that the air going out may be warmer than the air you breathed in, depending how cool it is where you are. And just Breathe in and out, being attentive to the feeling, to the necessity of air, to the flow of air, to how good it feels to breathe. And then picture yourself in a beautiful place outdoors. 
and it begins to rain very softly and very gently. And how good the moisture feels as you breathe. It softens the air. Your body also needs the moisture. Feel the nurturance of air and water together. And then imagine being thirsty and a beautiful container of pure, clear water is placed in your hand. And imagine how good it feels to swallow that water, how nurtured you feel, how alive you feel as the water moistens your mouth and your nasal passages and your throat. And as it flows through your whole body, remember a time when you felt really thirsty, especially after exercising, after working physically, and you came back to a container of water and you drank deeply and you felt the life-giving water. And then extend your thinking to what else gives you that feeling of being revived, of being supported. Think of the smile of someone you love blessing you, giving you the sense of vitalization that comes from receiving love. And imagine someone doing something because they know you will enjoy it. Just doing something for you. And how wonderful it feels to receive that love. And keep focusing on your breathing. By now, it probably has slowed down a little bit. And that's fine. Because over time, when we have gotten enough of what we need for life, sustaining it in a gentle rhythm keeps us vitalized, keeps us at our peak, keeps us joyful and healthy. Air, water, love, all are a flow of abundant blessing, of beautiful life. All are necessary to us for being alive, fully alive, at our best. And whenever we have a moment free, we can take advantage of that by just going within, paying attention to our breathing, feeling the life flow 
in our imagination or in reality, in our breathing, in a refreshing drink, in smiling and being smiled at. And so now, having been refreshed, I invite you to bring your awareness back into your body. Right down to your toes. Wiggle your toes consciously and open your eyes and smile. and feel the refreshment. And so it is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this meditation about water. Yeah, so my last sentence would be, what is life? Let's say water. That's what I want to say. Uh, our next, um, I think our next festival will be announced soon and there will be also a topic to speak about and I hope you will all be there and we will speak about uh, things that are also helping us uh, in, uh, in a day, on a daily basis life. Thank you so much for everyone. If you don't have any comment or question, I need to wish you a happy day or night according to where you are because I know that timing is uh, different from one country to another. So, um, yes, Rosemary, could you say the last word from your side? Okay. Just wherever you're going, whatever you're doing now, feel refreshed. And remember how to get there so you can use it when you need it, whenever. Just takes a minute or two. Thank you. Thank you, Rosemary. Okay. One. See you soon. Okay. Thank you all for joining Thank us. You.